Hello and welcome. Today we are talking about how to apply your essential oils. So in this video, we're going to cover how, when, why you should do it and how to do it safely. If we haven't met yet, I am Dr. Allison debardo Gagan. I am a functional medicine physician and a doTERRA wellness advocate, and I help people overcome their chronic health issues, weight gain, and anxiety so they can feel like themselves again and live a life that they love. So today we are talking about how to use your essential oils topically, how to apply them, where to do it, and how to do it safely. So all oils can be applied topically, which means just on your skin, on your body to help with a variety of issues. The number one thing that you need to know about is how to do this safely because some oils can be caustic or hot and can burn your skin or cause some skin irritation. So the first thing that you need to have is some fractionated coconut oil. So this is doTERRA's and what it is is coconut oil, but as you know, regular coconut oil changes states based off of the temperature. So if it's cold out, the coconut oil will become solid, and if it's warm, it's liquid, which is normally just fine, so you can use that type of coconut oil as well. But if you're going to be making your own blends or you want to be able to use that oil quickly, the fractionated coconut oil always stays liquid. So that way, say you have your own roller ball and you want to be able to use it topically and roll it on for maybe a headache or some indigestion, you don't want a frozen solid bottle of coconut oil and you won't be able to use it. You have to wait for it to warm up. So that's why we love the fractionated coconut oil. It provides a safe barrier for your skin to help protect the skin. It dilutes the oil. And the other wonderful thing about diluting your oils is that it actually makes your oils more powerful. Because essential oils are volatile, they flash off into the air, meaning we can smell these compounds because they travel through the air. When you put them on your skin, only a small amount of those compounds will stay on your skin and get into your bloodstream. But when you use something to dilute, it will actually help trap the essential oils onto your skin instead of going off into the air. And you actually get more out of each application. How do you know which oils are hot oils and which ones to dilute or which ones would be safe? Each doTERRA essential oil bottle will tell you if it needs to be diluted or not, and you can always look it up online. I'll tell you, when I first got my kit from doTERRA, I had no idea about dilution or what oils were hot. I was also very, very sick and very, very pregnant, so my whole throat was swollen, and I, I don't know what was going on, and I just heard oregano was great for killing everything and helping you get over uh, issues, so I put a bunch of oregano in my hand, rubbed it all over my neck, and about 30 seconds later, my skin was on fire, my neck was red, and what's the first thing I did? I tried to wash it off with water. Of course, that made it worse. So I learned so much in my first few weeks of just using essential oils because I made so many mistakes. So oregano, cinnamon, thyme, clove, those are all hot oils that are can cause skin sensitivity. So what I should have done is dilute it in coconut oil, olive oil, the fractionated coconut oil, and then apply it. If you do find that you have some skin sensitivity or you're burning or it turns red, use more coconut oil because oils will or water will drive the oils in deeper, make it worse, and coconut oil will dilute it and take away that skin sensitivity. So you can learn from my mistakes. So how do you use essential oils topically? The first way is you just put it where it hurts. So if your head has some tension or your neck and shoulders has tension, you could put it there. If your stomach's upset, put it directly on your stomach. Same with period cramps, knee pain, anything that hurts or is having the issue, you can put oils directly on there. Make sure you dilute, make sure you use it safely. Don't get oils in your eyes, in your nose, in your ears, or any other sensitive areas. We want to keep these oils external on your skin safely. The next way you can use essential oils is for emotions as well. So um, you can smell the oil directly from the bottle, which is what I do. So I always talk about balance in my postpartum anxiety, but I would just smell it right from the bottle and then put it on my wrists, on the pulse points, behind my ears and on the back of my neck. Another great way to use oils for emotional support is on the feet as well, because Honestly, if you want to send your kid to school and they don't want to be the stinky kid in class, you want to put the oils on your feet and the socks and shoes, and no one has to know that they're using essential oils. So it's a wonderful way just to get them into your blood 
circulating. Another place is to put the oils directly over your heart because our heart has its own nervous system, just like our brain, our gut has the enteric nervous system. We actually have a heart nervous system with its own serotonin neurotransmitters. So if you're feeling emotional or overwhelmed, the chest, the heart is a great place to put these essential oils and just take a moment to yourself to try and just breathe deeply, recover, and also breathing in these oils. Say you put these oils on your hands and then you put them on, say, the back of your neck, your wrist, then just take a second and put your hands over your nose and mouth and take a deep breath in. When we smell these oils, we're actually smelling in these compounds and breathing them in. So when the oils and these compounds get into our lungs, they actually start to circulate very quickly through our entire body. So that's why these oils are so effective at calming and just smelling them. I love to use essential oils for my facial skincare and regular skincare as well. So on your face, you always want to dilute. You do have to be very careful because our skin on our face is actually very thin. So this goes for anywhere that on your body you might have thin skin, like your chest, maybe your spine, maybe your face, especially for kids and the elderly. So. Make sure that you are always diluting on your face. Um, things like our Immortel blend is wonderful, but I actually divide that into four little bottles and fill the rest up with coconut oil. So this whole bottle goes a very, very long way. It lasts a really long time. Things like blue tansy or yarrow palm and frankincense are wonderful for fine lines and wrinkles, for supporting healthy and clear skin. So dilute, or you can make your own roller. So this is a 10 ml roller. And on the top, you can see it has a little roller ball right there. So I'll put my like favorite blends in to roll under my eyes, to roll on my neck or do spot treatments. It makes it really, really easy. Um, I also use almost all of my blends in rollers so that way I could easily apply it to my wrist, back of my neck, anywhere that needs support. So this is a great tool to have for all of your favorite DIY blends that you want to carry around with you in your purse or in your backpack. Now I mentioned kids and elderly people who have thinner skin have higher sensitivity to probably essential oils and many other things as well. So you can download my free Modern Mom's Guide to Essential Oils. The link will be below so that way you can get recipes, DIY. I have all of the dilution charts in there for fractionated coconut oil, all of the safety information that you need. And it gets very specific for very different issues that each age group goes through from birth to elderly. So this is a free guide just for you. So if you have any questions, you want to know which oils you need, what would support you the most, you can message me. The link is in the comments and I'd be happy to support you. You can always schedule a free health assessment as well online. And we talk for about 30 minutes, brainstorm on your issues, your goals, your concerns, what you might need to move forward and how to do that with ease. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe so that way you stay tuned for all of our videos that come out every week and you get the support that you need. Have a great day.